What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's field 20, and we got some solar stuff today. We've got uh, three boxes we're going to unbox. We've got the small box, which I'm going to unbox last. The big box, which you can't see, is in the floor. We're going to unbox that second. First, we're going to unbox this. This is a power distribution panel <clears throat> for an outback inverter. This outback inverter is a uh, 8,000 watt inverter. And this is a distribution panel. It's got all the bells and whistles that you can get for this uh, distribution panel. I think you hook up two different charge controllers to it and you can hook up the 8,000 watt uh, outback power inverter. I don't know the model number offhand, sorry. They make things so difficult. But this specific panel here is a GSLC175-PV, and the dash PV is for the photovoltaic breakers and pre-wired setup. And it's 120 to 240 volts, which is North America's grid power system. So let's go ahead and open it. This thing also comes with flex net for your charge controllers. If you put a charge controller on the outside of it, which is most likely, it's got some pretty heavy duty uh, bolts for concrete, etc. nuts and bolts, a bunch of paperwork. And that must be for the Outback's FlexNet power stuff as well. Uh, stickers, stuff that none of you guys are totally interested in. Nobody watches videos to read a book because you could get the paperwork and read this, you know? So we're going to go ahead and uh, see how much better this panel is versus my panel, which I'm kind of surprised on how big this panel is compared to the Magnum's panel, which is rated for one inverter. And this is rated for, uh, basically we're putting together two inverters, combined two inverters. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. So this is what I see. I'm going to slide that back and slide it out. Now, put your uh, foam stuff back up. You never know when you buy a bum inverter, or charge controller, whatever. Don't throw away your box yet. You may need it. You can throw it, just don't throw it away. <laughs> so, this is a very heavy power distribution panel. You know what I like about this one versus the uh, Magnum? It's got a cover for the breakers. This is a, uh, it's got a, a setup to where you can put grid power just like the Magnum or solar power and not switch to where grid power is connected. So if you want one on, the other one can't be on at the same time. Or, yeah, if you want one on, see that's on. Yep. And the other one can't be on at the same time. So that's pretty cool. All of these panels pretty much have to have it. And if I'm not mistaken, we've got breakers. That's probably, the green was probably a ground fault type of breaker, like the Magnum's got. And we got some screws. I'm gonna get those screws out. Look, look at the guts. Because who wants to see an electrical panel outside of it? Come on. Who? I don't want to see electrical panel on the outside. I want to see the guts. Let's see the guts. That's what I'm talking about. We're here to see the good stuff. The juicy stuff. And by the way, this door actually comes off, which is convenient. So only one of these screws had a washer on. Your mileage may vary. Now, this thing is already pre-wired. If we look here, we got some number six gauge wire with some real nice crimped connectors. 
inside of here. I'm gonna tell you, I'm really happy with the way this looks already because it just looks solid. So I will have to go over the electrical wiring diagram before I decide to do anything. You've got, uh, looks like a white wire. I'm assuming that is for our uh, neutral leg, AC neutral, that's right. That's what it says right here. Everything's labeled inside and it's real nice and organized. Uh, we've got our shunts are connected with number six gauge wire. It appears to be number six gauge wire, negative battery terminal. W19, W20, so it's got two shunts, three shunts total inside of this system, which is fantastic. And it also has a uh, flex net as well. So that's really cool. We can attach outback charge controllers and get connected to the internet with them with this box which is kind of convenient i might actually test out outbacks charge controllers uh, we can uh i'm going to talk with outback we'll see about that otherwise i'd probably get a classic and just install it maybe even sell this thing to one of you guys if you're interested i might put it up on ebay we'll figure something out so right now We've got the two 175 amp breakers because this inverter is an 8,000 watt inverter. I've already said it. Basically, it's two 4,000 watt inverters put together in one box. So this has some pretty good thickness of wire. So I'm pretty happy with that. But I'm still going to have to go over all the uh, electrical wiring setup. Not sure why we got two shunts. We'll figure this out. I'm assuming they're 500 uh, amps to 50 millivolt shunts, which is a good thing. Um, they look like they're 500 amp to 50 millivolt shunts. It's got three of them, which is amazing. Uh, I can't say anything negative. It looks like it's a uh, pretty thick wire on all of it. Uh, except here, it looks like maybe number eight gauge. So, I mean, everything looks super, super good. It's like, it's so tight in here. It feels tight. It still don't justify not checking to make sure everything's tight. You should always check all your screws on electrical now, connection. Now, I'm going to open this thing on the floor. On the top, we get a metal plate. I bet you this mounts to the wall and the inverter sits on it. This will probably go to the wall. This lips where the inverter probably sits. And then you got a quick, easy mount. Bam! Nice. Wish the Magnum had an easy mount. Maybe the Magnum does. It's been a while since I put it in. We have plastic hole connectors, a bunch of bolts, some type of uh, remote temperature sensor. Okay, so we got a temperature sensor as well. And this thing is supposed to be heavy. I think 125 pounds. So, what I'm gonna do is use a knife, finally decided to use a knife. Okay. One more. And now, ooh, this thing is super heavy. 
So this is actually the top and here's the bottom. And this is the back. This slides in there and the inverter hangs on that just like so. So we're looking at the back of the inverter. And you got a front cover. Right here is the inverter. Radeon series, Radeon. Now, this thing is a monster, so I'm not gonna try to pick it up and put it on the table. But I'll turn it around and open this for you. My understanding is this is an inverter and this is an inverter. And it has two Bitcoin miner fans that blow air through it. It's got relays in here as well. And uh, it's got one, two, three different circuit boards. Remote battery temperature and then it's a remote uh, it's the whole shebang and this is a GS8048A. This is a 8,000 watt 48 volt inverter. And it probably has a charge controller in. It definitely has a charge controller. It does 125 amps as a charger as well. So if you wanted to charge some batteries fast, well, this thing will charge them fast. It looks like we got number 10 gauge wires coming off of it, and it appears that the wires are uh, in uh, parallel with the system here. So it looks good, and the, it's got ribbon cables, and you can just feel them and see how they feel. They look like they're straight and in line and everything, and all the connectors come in through here and here. And it's got two battery power input locations. Right here. So you got two positives, two negatives. And that is directly for each side inverter. This is a power module GSA. Here's another power module GSA. And uh, it's made out of, it's got aluminum covers on everything. It's taped down with just some simple tape. It's kind of, you know, one more piece right there would have been nice but you know not that big a deal so this thing looks amazing it looks pretty awesome it's also got a ground lug it's right here you can see the two screws that's a ground circuit and a warning electrical hazard shock right here and I like it I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. It's 125 pounds, so it's super heavy. I will be having somebody help me put this on the wall after I mount everything uh, else. I'll put this on the wall and then I'll attach our new uh, power distribution panel and we're good. We're gonna install this thing in a series of videos. Um, I've had a lot of trouble with noise in my garage because I'm running Bitcoin miners and right now my Magnum is off. I've got a project because my LG refrigerator is garbage and I want you to know 
don't buy an LG refrigerator. That's right, LG. It's the second compressor that's went bad on that refrigerator, not to mention I sell units. Now, this is the brain. <laughs> We've got RJ45 connector, basically an ethernet cable, paperwork. You want to read it? You have to go read the paperwork for a, uh, let's see what, the Outmate 3S, uh, the Outmate 3S, it's a O-U-T M-A-T-E 3S. It's uh it's a controller. Now let's go ahead and open this gently. I like how it's packaged. That's pretty cool. I love the way that was packaged. So it's got a lot of buttons on it. It's got an inverter button, a charger button, gin button, events, AC input, favorites several other buttons uh, it says ethernet here and hub device it's the mate 3s if you want to read about it go on the internet and read about it uh, it's got a memory card adapter and a memory card Eight gigabyte memory card in that adapter. Cool. Maybe I can put it in it. All right, so we got a memory card with it. Thank you, Outback, for not making me go buy junk that I don't want. So I'd say we'll have to update all that stuff to get it to work with the internet or whatever. So what you're looking at is power distribution box, the controller, it has a display. It probably is not a real nice display, but you know, if it connects to the internet and lets me talk to it with some nice programs, I'm gonna be happy with that. It's got a weird touchpad interface. I hope this circle right here is like a scroll wheel. That'd be so cool. I don't know yet, so we'll have to look at that in the future. Uh, lock, top, up, port. I mean, this is probably the most advanced inverter I've ever laid eyes on with my own eyes. And I look forward to playing with it. So you guys now see everything that I unbox. I hope you guys like it. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. And if you hate the world, obviously, you probably hate everybody if you thumbs down this inverter. And then if you thumbs up it, that means, well, you like the video and you like me. And I appreciate it. This is Philip 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. We're going to install this inverter this week. Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.